It's almost like a, like a little switch that turns your metabolism on and off. As we age, we see a decrease in AMPK. And when we have a decrease in AMPK, you start to see your metabolism slow, start to see some weight gain, you lose a little muscle mass each year, hormones tend to calm down. So losing AMPK is kind of seen like, um, like a significant part of the aging process. So if you have a supplement that can ramp up AMPK, then it's anti-aging, right? It fights that decline. And part of that decline is losing your sensitivity to insulin, losing that reactivity to insulin. And so AMPK, when it gets activated, helps you respond better to insulin. And it helps lots of other stuff as well. Um, so berberine can help improve insulin sensitivity. It helps improve something called gluconeogenesis, which is taking fat, turning it back into glucose in the liver. Um, and it helps glucose uptake into the cells. So it can help control blood sugar and control the amount of insulin you have. Because remember, if you've seen some of my other videos, high blood sugar can cause trouble in your body. It can do damage over time, but high insulin can also do damage. So while we want the blood sugar well controlled, we don't want it to take large amounts of insulin to do that. If you get an insulin test, like a blood test for insulin, um, while you're fasting, 8 to 10 hours without food, you should have a fasting insulin level below 10. If it's really dialed in well, it'll be around 6 or maybe a little bit below that. That says that you're very insulin sensitive. It takes very little insulin to get the job done. So you want blood sugar and insulin both relatively low, well-managed, and under control.